Hello everyone, welcome to OpenShift videos. In this video, we'll, we will learn how to create our own build pipelines in uh, OpenShift version 3.3. This is an upcoming release coming in, a, in in the next few days. The version that I'm using right now is uh, the pre-release version. So things might be slightly different in the actual release. You would have seen earlier videos on how pipelines work in OpenShift version 3.3. In this video, you'll learn step by step on how to create your own pipeline for your application and run. In the next video, you will learn how to edit this pipeline to go across the projects. So let's start simple first. We'll learn how to create a pipeline. So let's start by creating a new project. I'm going to call this project CICD. You'll notice a small change here. Just like in the previous versions, you can browse through the catalog and deploy your own application. You can also deploy an image by clicking on this, or you can import a YAML or a JSON file. For creating a Jenkins build configuration, we'll import a YAML here. This YAML is a build configuration. I, I called it my first pipeline. I'll make this available through my GitHub. And this pipeline has if you look at the strategy here, this build configuration has the type Jenkins pipeline and it uses Jenkins pipeline strategy and it is pointing to a Jenkins file. We'll discuss the contents of this file in a minute. I'll, for now, I'll just go ahead and create. Once I did that, you'll notice that there is a route Jenkins here and in a few seconds, you will see that Jenkins pod will start running. Here you go. The deployment is running. and the Jenkins pod is up. Now let's look at this pod. From the environment, I want to capture this Jenkins password because in order to log into the Jenkins console, I'll need this password. Click on this URL. Here is my Jenkins console. I log in as administrator. This is the first pipeline that we just created. Now let's go back to our web console. If I look at the builds section, I, you'll see the pipelines here. This is the first pipeline. Let's see the configuration. Here is the Jenkins file, Jenkins file that I wanted to talk about. So this Jenkins file has two stages. The first stage is the build stage. And uh, in the build stage, I'm running an OpenShift build. And this build would invoke a build configuration called MyPHP. You can edit it to some other name if you wanted to create an application with a different name, right? The next stage is a deploy stage. And in deploy stage, I'm doing two things. First, I'm invoking OpenShift deploy. Here, a deployment configuration with the name MyPHP will be invoked. And once the deployment is complete, I want to scale up this application to two instances. Very simple. Now let's go back. We don't have a build and deployment configuration for my application, right? So in that context, let's use an application. I have on my GitHub a small demo app that uses PHP. So I'll copy this, say add to project, select PHP because there's a PHP app. I'll name this my PHP. Remember the name in the pipeline. And I'll point to the Git repository. Let's go to the advanced options. And here, I don't want the build to be triggered automatically. So I'm rem removing the auto trigger options, as well as I don't want the deployment to happen automatically. So I'm removing the auto deploy options is because I want these to be invoked by Jenkins rather than by OpenShift automatically. I'm going to press on create. The application is created. I'll go back to the console. Let's see that there is a build created for my PHP. There is a deployment created for my PHP. And there is an image stream created for my PHP. And once the build runs, it's going to push the image into this image stream. You will also notice that it created a service and a route for my application that is yet to be built and deployed. Now let us start our pipeline. This is the pipeline and I'm going to start it. So the build is now getting invoked. Let's look at the logs. 
it shows the logs in Jenkins console as the console output. The build is getting started. The build has just started. It has entered the stage build. Let's go back to web console. So it, here it shows the pipeline has started. Now I can also see this on the overview page. So the first step in the pipeline is complete. Build is completed in 50 seconds. Now the deployment has started. It is deploying one pod. Once this is done, it goes and scales up to two pods. Now that the build and deployment is complete, let's look at our application. And it shows a green rose. Now let's go back and make a small change. I'll edit this application code and I'll change this green rose to blue rose. Commit the changes. Let's verify again, it's showing green rose. Now let me start the pipeline again. It starts the build. The build is now complete and the deployment so it's spun up the one new pod and the second new pod. Now that the build and deployment is complete, let's check our application. It shows a blue rose. That was a simple example of how you can create your own pipeline and run it within OpenShift 3.3. In the next video, we'll see how we can edit this pipeline to go across the projects. We'll create a development project. We'll create a testing project. And we'll do the build and the deployment and development and then move it into testing. Thanks for watching.